Thinking to this point, Dina giggles and thought. Mm, really not hard, guys. And thought, if I can, I would want to kill him. It will be Christmas. This is the perfect voice for it, by the way. It's absolutely spot on. Will be fucking Eeyore? It will be Christmas in a few days, but Dina isn't excited about it. Of course, it's a creepy pasta. No one's ever excited about something it's supposed to be excited about. fucking scared the cramp is coming down. Yeah. Since she always spends Christmas as if it's a normal day, oh. for her it doesn't matter whether she has celebrated it or not. So that shows that she's a psychopath, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, Toby's right. Only absolute fucking psychopaths, like untrustworthy, big nose, <laughs> money grabbing <laughs> psychopaths, don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> you know what I meant. What you, the, Toby? You hate the Jews. Is that what you meant? You know, I, I mean, I am shocked that Toby would be so racist. <laughs> yeah, really, too. I'm waiting for him to sort of on, on TV tropes now. <laughs> Toby is a confirmed anti-Semite. I wonder if there's an actual Hitler like. Um, there, there is. There's a, there's a there's a thing that Tariq wash your ass Nasheed like um, monitors. It's, it's a website that he that he uh, moderates, which is uh, like a database of suspected white supremacists and Toby has to get on there now. <laughs> like that. We should what? make that on. Guys, make this your fucking mission. <laughs> get Toby on Tariq Nasheed's watch list. Pringles, listen to the people. Fortunately, whenever it's her birthday, Mrs. Clark would always prepare a small cake to celebrate with her. If she hadn't done so, Dina would have forgotten how old she is. Since there won't be having any tutoring today... What? <laughs> okay, you could just take the word having out and make it Since there won't be any tutoring today, let's do what I usually do Dina thinks She stands up from the bed, leaves the room, and starts wandering around the house Even though Mr. Clark locked her up in the house, he never said anything about not letting her walk around the house Right So, so many redundant sentences it's a good thing that the house is large really? and that the family is pretty much the richest in the region. But Dina isn't complacent just because of that. Also, Dina is utterly disgusted by arrogant ones who care for their pride. Oh, How does she know anything about those? Like, first of all, she's fucking 13. If you say ones who care for their pride in that context, you would actually mean people who look after their family. Um, Dina always visits Mr. Clark's collection room. And even though he strictly forbids Dina to enter that room, she will always sneak into it. In that room, she can stay for a long time because there is one thing that really catches her eye. A pure white sword. She's gonna kill someone with that it. That sword is placed in a glass case and it is isolated from the other collections as if it's something really special. Whenever Dina gets close to the sword, it creates a soundless resonance. And that sword always shines in a silvery white colour. Jesus Christ, how many times are we going to find out that this sword is white, by the way? A magical... I'm just going to just look for now now. Dina would stand for hours to watch that sword. According to her mother, that according to the legend... <laughs> like, hey, you're like... <laughs> Mother, you're interrupting my show. That's a sword, honey. You're watching a sword. She well, comes here one day and goes, well, I'm still watching this again. Hit some chat, just switches over. Ah, uh, 200 channels, nothing but swords. <laughs> oh my god, but swords. I shouldn't have bought the fucking weeaboo package from Sky. <laughs> fucking watching it for hours. That, according to the legend, the sword originally belonged to an angel. Okay. And during a war... <laughs> Which specific <laughs> angelic war was it? Which one was it? Was it mentioned in the Bro Bowl? The bro <laughs> Yeah. Did you mean to say the bro I, I, I did not actually. <laughs> With, say that, <laughs> that was another Aragog situation, wasn't it? No, that, that's actually John Tron, isn't it? He, he's got a conviction of the bro bowl. <laughs> Think of the bro bowl. Is this like a <clears throat> something? Yeah, it, your yeah I was gonna say. Is this like the? It's like the you know the Bible, but it's essentially for uh, for pickup artists. Yeah, that was it. And during a Jesus, war, my wingman. During the, the angelic war, the angel accidentally dropped the sword into the human world and was never found by the angel again. It was a death note but sword. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. <laughs> death note but with sword. Look, yeah, it comes through because if you stab someone with a sword, they die. Yeah. No shit! However, since then... How did they find out about the legend? Because presumably, 
The angel never finds the sword, right? Uh huh. How, well, how do humans know the angel lost a sword? Well, no, what about this? Someone found a sparkly sword one day and was like, ah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> like, according to the legend, there was a war with a bunch of angels and, you know, someone dropped their sword and was like, so where's it came from? Ah, the voices in my head told me. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, they sold it to them and, like, uh, there was a, it's like, I don't know, there was a war with angels and, and they dropped the sword. That inc- it's like, wow, yeah, thank you. That really increases the market value. <laughs> yeah, I'll it's, certainly it's, pay an extra $10,000 on top of the asking price. It, it, it's like a, um, it's like, you know, uh, it's sort of, for one person found it in a boot fair and then he's like, I can flip this. I was like, however, since then, the humans of the world began using it for different reasons. <laughs> like, crowbar! So <laughs> <laughs> li- everybody listen to this. It was once used to kill. It was once used to kill! <laughs> what the fuck are they using it for now then? <laughs> what, you mean you Carpets. don't use it? Yeah. They were using it for rugs! Actually, wait, no, yeah. they're using it. They are using, no, they're using it as a TV, aren't they? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we no. originally use it to kill these humans. Yeah. They're mad. They take a sword, they hang it up on the wall, they stare yeah. at it for three fucking hours the straight. See, the like is, it's Return of the King. They, <laughs> take, the thing is, they, 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 get, they get it because they said it. Catherine like, of Aragorn. Yeah, it was once used to kill. Once? To protect. Oh. And also attack. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the, the fucking. Sword di- it's. And kill. <laughs> Folks, it's the dead meme show. Steph is back in the editing suite. It's the... Like, it was once used to kill, to protect, for personal benefits, etc. Personal? Well, like robbing a convenience store. <laughs> it's like, I'll use this for my own to protect, but also for personal benefits. Yeah, give me all the money in the register. <laughs> Thus, the sword was passed down like this for many, many years. Like AIDS. <laughs> There is also a rumour about the sword, considering one who builds a good relationship with it, its master for eternity. There's already a legend, do we really need a <laughs> fucking rumour as well? It's a right, legend. it's you. Such a beautiful sword, if only you were mine. Dina's black eyes reflect the image of the sword. She places her hands onto the glass case, and she feels as if she's getting sucked in. (laughs) (laughs) Suddenly, she hears footsteps coming close. She hides herself. The door opens, and someone comes in. It's Maisha. She is doing her daily patrolling. (laughs) Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, the, the nanny was the slayer. It is obvious that she's looking for Dina, since Dina left the room without her permission. To have Dina's action restricted this badly, she stares at the maid with a hateful look. I can barely understand what's going on. Dina comes out from where she was hiding as soon as Maisha leaves the room. And the whole point of that was next sentence. In the evening, in July, (laughs) in the evening, Mrs. Clark returns home with lots of things she bought from department store. From department? <laughs> from department store. And almost department store. all of them are daily supplies. Unfortunately, she meets Mr. Clark, who doesn't show up often, at the front door. What the f- Why is it so, what so weird? did you buy? Mr. Clark it says. It's a bag full of sex toys. He grabs Mrs. Clark's arm and asks her, and some of the items Mrs. Clark bought fell out including some of the food she bought secretly. Why did you buy this food? It's for that monster, isn't it? How dare you buy these things secretly? I actually, like, enjoy eating sometimes, Mr. Clark. Why starve her? If you're going to kill her, just kill her. You mentioned, like, oh, well, you know. If she dies. If she dies, she dies. But, like, just fucking murder her, then. She cannot be happy. No. Filled with fury, Mr. Clark pushes Mrs. Clark onto the floor, but before he kicks his helpless wife, Dina comes and blocks her heartless father. Father, what in the world are you doing? You have no right to call me father, you monster. Only the most perfect ones can call me that. Mr. Clark slaps Dina, bouncing her to the side. (laughs) She stands up from the floor and glares at her father, before he says, Hmm. Before he says, <laughs> he says, humph, and leaves. Harumph. Okay, new paragraph, one word, no, um, no capital, perfect. <laughs> okay, good to know. All right, don't bother the proofreading, new paragraph. Come back later to spell check. After making sure that Mr. See, that's Clark... that's not actually in my version, the Creep Pass Land version. It's not actually All right, I'm on the, I'm on, I'm on deviant Same art, here. so. After making sure that Mr. Clark has left, Dina goes up to Mrs. Clark and says... Mother, 
Are you all right? Don't worry, I'm okay. Sigh. <laughs> I'm quite unlucky. <laughs> she actually says sigh because I'm, she's in the quotation marks. I'm quite unlucky today. How about you, dear? I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't get backhanded by my husband, so I'm a bit better off. But didn't I tell you not to buy them for me? If Dad sees it. It doesn't matter, since you're my only daughter. The way she interrupts her as well, like, I'm sorry to make a really, really old reference that's going to age me to, to the younger audience, but, like, the way she interrupts there is like, if Dad sees it, it doesn't matter! <laughs> it doesn't matter what your name is! Mrs. Clark touches Dina's face gently before she says, Let's sleep together tonight, Dina. Dad, quick, mum's turned weird. Smack her again, turn back to normal. The truth is, Mrs. Clark cannot escape her husband's bind. Even if she, oh, come on. Even if she wanted to, she <laughs> has some kinky shit. thought of divorcing, but she can't give up on Dina. And even if the divorce was successful, it is likely that Mr. Clark would not let them go for good. But that's what courts do. They, they, they can sort that out for you. It's called a divorce court. Like, it doesn't matter how rich Yeah, but he's the, he's the most famous judge in the world. He's, yeah. the, uh, he's uh, in charge of the divorce court. Sorry, just... I rule in favour of me because I'm always neutral, as established earlier. So, basically, I love the way that this day described being the, the father is the, is the best judge and he's also the fairest. And, and... They are the richest people yeah. in the county. Shitty eyes. Where is this even taking place? Has it said Japan? Fuck it hasn't it. said what. It hasn't said where what, or when. Or what so I don't century? Know what, yeah, I don't. I Other than there being a what... department store, it could be yeah. anywhere. This could be. You, you could literally be in the land of Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know. Can I reason? Yep. Mother. I want to be a gym leader when I grow up. <laughs> Mrs. Clark sits on the bed while Dina lies down in her mother's lap. Yes. Miss... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mrs. Clark touches Dina's hair softly. Mother. Do you hate me? Yes. <laughs> yes. My eyes. She's like, my eyes. Dina looks at her mother with her pure black eyes. Of course not. Mother really loves your unique eyes. You're my angel after all. There's so many. Uh oh. There's so many. Get a sword. There's so many ellipses in this. It's ridiculous. Angel. <laughs> Dina suddenly remembers the sword in the collection. Do you room. remember when we were making Robbie Williams jokes earlier? Mother, do you want to escape from this home? Yes. I've always wanted to. Then let's run away together. Dina. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Dina sits up. Let's leave. <laughs> Needed 13 years. Let's leave this place. Then we'll find somewhere where no one will ever find to leave. Where no one will ever find to live in. <laughs> uh, they're very rich, but they can't pay the fine for moving. <laughs> ah, the moving fine. Dina holds her mother's hand. But Dana, your father is a famous person. <laughs> Your yes. father is Tom Cruise! He will stop us before we exit and exit the gates! Yeah, as we all know, celebrity uh, status basically means you have unlimited power. He turned into the fucking emperor! Dana, your father is a famous person, and we all know a lot of people! Wait, and he knows a lot of people! <laughs> so if, if he was to find us, find us, we'd definitely be in a very bad situation! Miss Mrs. Clark says as she lowers her head, Bud Mother, do you really want to live under Father's harsh treatment? You and I both know that one day I will be finished off by Father, so let's escape this place before that happens. Dina's eyes are filled with flames of her passionate feelings. <laughs> no, 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 just black. And just... as her mother sees Dina's passion, she holds Dina's hand and says, All right! Seeing her mother determined to, Dina says, Then we will <laughs> we'll run away on Christmas Eve. I've prepared the plan already. What, what, why don't know? Running in the 90s. tells Mrs. Clark about her plan until sunrise. Time flies and the day of the Christmas Eve <laughs> has come. <laughs> Jesus, the day of the Christmas Eve. Not Christ you fucking simpleton. <laughs> Dina and Mrs. Clark will be escaping this house today. <laughs> Good for them. Why is this the Big Brother house? It is the day of the Christmas <laughs> Eve has come. Dina, Dina and Mrs. Clark house. will be escaping. Eilish Jack is in the diary room. <laughs> the master of this home is a judge, and he is the law. Anybody who goes against you him will no longer live on. 
Dina has been waiting for this day. She has prepared everything, and now she just needs to wait for this e the evening to come. She looks at her watch. It's five o'clock now. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. But it's the evening now. Mm, like. I think it's time. Dina takes out a pendant. It is a photo pendant. <laughs> <laughs> I now cannot hear Chills' voice without like the girl from the fashion club now. She brought it secretly by sneaking out of the house into a newly opened an antique shop near their house. But the shop sells many different kinds of things. things. Since she sneaked out while wearing a disguise, she thought people wouldn't notice her. Anyway, she is now going to give that pendant to her beloved mother. Suddenly, Dina's room door slammed open, with Mrs. Clark covered in blood, running, in, running and screaming. Run, Dina! Before Dina can react, Mr. Clark pushes Mrs. Clark from behind and walks towards Dina and grabs her. He shouts, You damn monster! I will kill you! How dare you sneak out! Do you even know that because of what you've done, someone has taken a photo claiming that a black-eyed monster has entered our house? The black-eyed peas has entered our house! I thought it was something <clears throat> else, but now our front yard is crowded with news reporters. Right after so, we... the best way to solve this situation is to assault your wife and kill your daughter. No! It's not... Pay no attention to the bloodstains on me. Right after he concludes, he throws Dina to the side. Dina, being thrown by her father, has hit her head the edge of the table and loses consciousness. When Dina regains consciousness, she notices...